Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a request from this amazing human. Thank you for the fun challenge idea. If you like the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be the first one notified when I upload the next video. Disclaimer. This video is not targeted for children. Some dialogues are suggestive. I would not recommend watching if you are under 16. Now onto the video. Suga created a group chat. I summon you all, bottoms of the volleyball teams. I shall answer. Did someone say bottom? Oh look, the biggest bottom of us all has answered. Bestie, do I need to add Sakusa to the group chat so that he can see how you treat me? No. I'll keep my mouth shut. What? What did I just witness? Nothing. Sakusa told Atsumu to watch his attitude or else he'd make him pay. Should I be worried or? I'm not. I'm not either. You're not exactly the best reference when it comes to caring about the well-being of your friends, Oikora. Now that's just mean. Not wrong, but mean. Well, if Akashi's not worried then I guess I shouldn't be either. You know how they are. And how they like to play. Did someone say play? Oh no can did, did someone, someone say, say play? play? Are we playing volleyball? Oh no. His poor innocence. Ruined in an instant. Or are we talking about that kind of play? Hinita. Chibi Chan. Tanaka. Moya. This is your fault. Freaky Hinata. Way to go Hinata. Let's just forget about that. Bottoms. I have something for you. What the hell is that? Yeah why is Yaku here? Yaku straight. I. Well. Oh. Surprise? Never mind. Yaku's not straight. Yaku. Let me get back to my anger. EHM EHM. Why the hell am I here? Bottoms. Really? That's how you see me? Yaku added lev to the grub chat. Hey. There. Your real bottom. Yaku left the grub chat. Lev? A bottom? Hey. We small people can be tops too. Yeah. You'd feel comfortable topping us are we? I didn't say that I was a top. I said that my people could be. Guys. It doesn't work in my head. Maybe they're switches? You know. Like me like and me and Suki. Like me like and, me and Suki. Suki. I. Now that's straight up bullying. Ha. I knew Lev was a bottom after all. But Kenma. You're a bottom too. Shoyo. Please don't interfere in this. This must be some kind of mistake guys. I'm not a bottom. I agree. Lev cannot be a bottom. Suga added Yaku to the grub chat. Suga removed Lev from the grub chat. Better. So. As I was saying. Bottoms. I have a challenge for you. I feel like it will be a wholesome one. Boring. Alright. You guys asked for it. Get your boyfriend in the mood challenge. Suga? Blink twice if you need help. Suga, you're my new best friend. Remember that Hinata is in the group A. Eh? Who cares? The tangerine is already freaky so. Alright, let's all do our best. Tsuki Yama. Tsukishima x Yamaguchi. Contrary to popular beliefs, Yamaguchi was more of a top than a bottom. Of course, he would bottom sometimes but he liked the sight of Tsuki under him. However, Yamaguchi was never the type of person to initiate anything. He would usually wait for Tsuki to make a move first. My love, would you come here for a second please? Yams heard small footsteps at the door of his room. Even if Tsuki had a really I don't give a damn attitude out of the bedroom, he was secretly whipped for his boyfriend. And oh, how Yams loved to see Tsuki's more submissive side. What is it, baby? Do you want to lie down with me? Tsuki smiled softly and put one of his legs on the bed but Yam stopped him with his foot. The smaller boy made his tongue click twice. No pants. Tsuki blushed and removed his pants before sliding himself in Yam's arms. Would you like it better if I placed my leg right there? Yam's dragged his leg on Tsuki's and placed his knee right between his boyfriend's leg, applying a small pressure. Yam's. A little bit more. F. O. Oh. What was that? I wanna do it. You wanna what now? Tsuki exhaled sharply. He hated when his boyfriend played this game. I'm in the mood too. Say no more, my love. 
Yamaguchi sucked a small spot on Tsuki's neck, then plunged his head under the covers and reached for Tsuki's thighs. I'll treat you well, don't worry. Ashi 10. Ashijima x Tendo. Ashijima had always been clueless while Tendo was more on the freaky side. Tendo had always respected Ashijima's rhythm when it came to their night activities. For the challenge, he would have to provoke a reaction in his dear Ashijima. Wakatoshi-kun? Do you love me? Of course I do, Satori. Are you doubting my feeling for you? Tendo faked a sigh. You should show me what your feelings are. Tendo raised an eyebrow and stared into Ashijima's eyes. He understands what I mean, thought the red-haired boy. The taller one got up, looked at his boyfriend and gave him a kiss on his forehead. I love you, Satori. I'm not convinced. Tendo sighed once again. Nope, Ashijima really hadn't understood a thing. The green-haired boy lifted Tendo's face up gently and kissed his lips. How's that? Tendo had a big grin on his face. He knew he only wanted to provoke his boyfriend. It feels good but I'm still not convinced entirely. Ashijima smiled a little bit and suddenly grabbed his lover's throat. What about now? Ashijima knew Tendo liked to be choked. You like that, don't you? A little bit too much I must admit. The couple kissed eagerly, both wanting each other's bodies to melt into one. Enotana. Inosha to ex Tanaka. As everyone would have assumed, Tanaka was one hell of a freaky man. He would always take pride in his reputation. Inoshita was a pretty reserved man, excepted when he was with Tanaka. Eno, do you want to do it? The other boy stopped working and looked at Tanaka without saying a word. Well, when you say it like that. Obviously, Inoshita's voice was full of sarcasm. Tanaka knew he'd have to work harder in order to get what he wanted. I can cook you a meal after. Let me call our insurance company to see if they can already give us the money for the burnt house. Ah, come on, I'm not that bad of a cook, am I? The other day, you cooked the fish in the toaster because it was too long to cook the other way. That only happened once. The day you wanted to bring me breakfast in bed, you cut your finger deep enough that we had to go to the ER. The doctor said we overreacted. Let's all recall that time you confused the sugar and the salt. Hey, they literally look the same. It was written on the label. They're both white, how could I have known? Same as your. Inoshita bit his lip. That last sentence had slipped out of his mouth. Tanaka and Inoshita made an eye contact and the bald one smirked. I know you're always thinking about that too. Oh, you better run for your life right now or you'll pay for that last sentence. Tanaka quickly ran off, Eno chasing him behind. Tanaka obviously didn't run his fastest so Inoshita fastly caught up to him. Tanaka knew he was done for today. There was no way he would be able to do anything else tonight. Inoshita pinned his boyfriend to the wall and they kissed entirely consuming the love they had for each other. Kuro Ken. Kuro X Kenma. If Kuro had one thing that excited him more than anything. It was when his boyfriend licked him. It could be any part of his body, tiny licks turned him on like crazy. Kuro was currently out and Kenma had played the entire day on his PSP. As per usual, Kenma had barely taken any time to do anything before his games. When Kenma heard the door close, a sign that Kuro was coming back home, he faked being focused on his game. Hey kitten, how are you? Good. Kuro passed his arms around Kenma's shoulders and lightly squeezed him. Did you eat today? Sure. What did you eat? Breakfast. Kuro knew that when Kenma was as vague in his answers, it meant he was lying. Kitten, be honest with me. Kenma sighed. He wasn't a bad person for lying, he just wished that Kuro would leave him alone sometimes. You didn't eat, right? Did you at least take a shower? Kenma once again didn't answer. Alright, I'll help you. Both guys got up and went into the bathroom. Needless to say that Kenma wasn't so happy to have been caught by his boyfriend. Do you want me to help you undress or do you want to do it alone? I can do it. Kenma removed his hoodie and his pants. He threw them on the floor and got in the bath. Kiro took the shower head and started to pour water on Kenma's body, gently adjusting the temperature as he could see Kenma's reactions. 
When Kuro washed his boyfriend's chest, Kenma began to gently lick his fingers. Startled, Kuro grabbed Kenma's tongue between his fingers. Kitten, don't do that. Or what? Or you won't like it. Bet. Kenma flicked a little bit of water on Kuro's shirt. Oops. Guess you're gonna have to take it off. You always have your ways. I'll finish you off in an instant. Kuro took off his shirt and kissed his boyfriend aggressively, both of their bodies falling in the tub. Osasuna. Osamu Exuna. The couple was already all curled up on the couch when the challenge started. They were watching some dumb TV show. Look at his face. Osamu laughed. He secretly was a fan of those overly stupid shows and Suna would always tease him on that. Osamu would usually reply by saying that the dumb characters reminded him of some of his clients at his anagery shop. Suddenly, a sensual scene came up on the screen. If the couple had one rule, it was that whenever there was an 18 plus scene on TV, they had to kiss. Suna saw this as his chance to light up Osamu. He grabbed Osamu's jaw firmly and took control of the kiss. After a moment, Osamu pulled away, confused. Am I not supposed to be the one to do that? But you didn't do it. Right. The couple sat in silence. That was kinda hot, not gonna lie. You think so? I mean, yeah. You like when I grab your face like that? Suna moved to grab Osamu for a second time but was intercepted by the grey-haired male. MHM. Only I can do that. Dominant much? Osamu scoffed. You just sit there and look pretty. I want to see your pretty face wanting more. You. Suna didn't even finish his sentence that Osamu's fingers slipped in a place only he could touch. Lev Yaku. Lev X Yaku. Suga's challenge happened a little too late for the couple. They had just finished each other off an hour before. I can't believe they put me in that grub chat. I'm not a bottom. Whatever helps you sleep at night, my love. Yaku stopped what he was doing and stared at Lev, angry. That was your cue to tell me that I'm right. But why would I tell you that? Because I am right. The taller man looked at his angry boyfriend and smirked. And yet, you're the one wearing the maid dress. Once again, Yaku stopped what he was doing and held a fork in his right hand. Another word and I'll kill you with this fork. You can't murder me. Wanna try and bet on that? You're kinda scaring me, Yaku. That's the point. Deep breaths, my love. You really do have a death wish. Yaku started to run in Lev's direction with his fork while the tall one ran away. With his long legs, it was easy for him to get away from Yaku. But suddenly, he tripped. Wah wah. Both boys fell on the ground. Yaku? Yaku? Are you okay? Damn it, Lev, you made us both fall. You're alive. Lev took Yaku into his arms and hugged him. Yaku was about to snap at Lev once again, but the hug he received from the giant felt too genuine. Hey, were you really scared I was gonna be hurt? Yeah. I didn't want you to be hurt because of my dumb mistake. You're adorable. Should we? Round 2? Round 2. Boku Aka. Bakuto X Akashi. Bakuto and Akashi were living the perfect life, they had each other, Bakuto was playing in the national team of Japan and he could travel the world with his best friend and lover Akashi. Lately however, Bakuto had been spending more time out with his friends and at volleyball practice than ever. And Akashi was a little bit jealous. Bakuto had just come back from his practice and, as always, he liked to take a little bit of time to cool off in the bath. The door is open. Akashi knew that Bakuto always bathed without closing the door of the bathroom. One time, when the door was closed, he nearly drowned, his own words. Akashi walked in front of the bathroom, just enough so that Bakuto would notice his presence. Here comes the love of my life. I'll be in the room. Akashi took off his shirt and threw it at the entrance of the bathroom. Baby owl? You dropped your shirt. No I didn't. Well, yeah, it's in the hallway. And that means? That means you dropped your shirt. But also? I. I'm lost, Kashi. Akashi sighed. He knew Bakuto wouldn't get it at first. I think you should come see me right now. Can this wait? I'm in the bath. I think you want to see me. Well Bakuto, I'm naked for you, 
Just come and put it in already. Put, what in? I. You're duck, dummy. Oh, I'm naked too. Yeah, that was kind of the point. Here I come, baby owl, prepare yourself. Will do, Bo. Daisuga. Daichi Exuga. Suga was probably amongst the kinkiest of the volleyball players included in this challenge. His pure front was only a ruse so that he wouldn't get questioned by people. Daichi loved this side of Suga, the side that was a brat, a tease, and sometimes a power bottom. Suga knew how to get his boyfriend to do what he wanted. My love. What is it, my world? You should give me your hand. Why? Daichi looked at his boyfriend, intrigued. Normally, he never would have second guessed Suga's acts but they had been talking a lot about their future and what was in front of them. Was this it? Was this the moment Suga had chosen? Are you doing what I think you're doing? If you're thinking what I'm thinking, then yes. Daichi smiled but tried to hide it. He loved Suga with all of his might, he couldn't help but stare at his boyfriend. It was really happening. Daichi, my best friend, my soulmate. My love for you is unmeasurable, you are amazing. Please put your tongue in the hole of my ring. Suga sang those last words, as if it were poetry he'd carefully thought about. On his last sentence, Suga dropped his pants and showed his rear to his boyfriend. Daichi couldn't help but laugh. Did you really just lure me into thinking you were gonna propose? I'm proposing a fun time, what's wrong with that? You're incredible. And you even included a ring. They both looked at each other, still laughing. So is that a yes or a no? With pleasure, baby. Suga ran to their room. Just before disappearing behind the small wall, he stopped and looked back at Daichi. Now, love, I'll be the one expecting the ring. The real thing. For your information, I like them with big diamonds. Daichi chuckled nervously and glanced at the little box sitting in his back pocket. Noted. Iwa Oi. Iwa Zumi X Oikoa. It was no secrets to anybody that Oikoa was the clingy one in the relationship. Even though Iwa loved and adored Oikoa, he would never really know how to show his love. Above it all, Oikoa knew what made the ace go crazy, and he had never hesitated to use it, especially in public settings. Did you know that a bee shows its love and appreciation to another bee by dancing around it? Well, yeah, it's a known fact. Why don't you dance around me more often? Well, for starter, I'm not a bee. But you could be inside me right now. I. What? That didn't make any sense. Oikol lowered his voice. I know what I haven't sensed in a long time. Suddenly, the A stopped immediately what he was doing and looked at his boyfriend. Are you implying that I don't pay attention to you enough? Exactly. We cuddled this morning, we showered together, we trained together, we ate breakfast together and now, you're literally lying on my lap while I try to get the smallest bit of work I can. Isn't that already enough? No. I want just to be one. Baby, you're already almost melting into me. Don't make me go a step further. Or what? You're helpless. Don't think you can overpower me so easily. Where? Oikol started to move his small hips on Iwa. The ace clenched his teeth and let a grunt come out of his mouth. I thought you weren't so easily overpowered. Shut up Shitikor and let's get in the bedroom. Let's do it here instead. Risky, I like it. Asanoia. Asahi ex Nishinoya. Noya liked to make fun of his boyfriend. Asahi, on the other hand, liked to see Noya laugh. They were perfect together. This challenge wasn't so complicated for Noya. After all, he knew exactly how he would turn his boyfriend on. You know what? I feel like praying right now. Asahi stopped what he was doing. It was the first time Noya had actually taken any interest in his faith. You what? How is that even possible? You know. Get me down on my knees and make me scream your name. Nishinoya couldn't help but laugh. Asahi's reaction was priceless. Did you just? Did you just use Jesus as a dirty reference? Of course I did, Asa Jesus. Noya laughed again. That nickname had been given to him by their friends in high school. Since then, Noya hadn't stopped teasing his boyfriend about it. I'll do just that. 
Get on your knees. Right now. Noya did just as he was told and Asahi rubbed himself on his boyfriend's face. I'll make you regret ever opening your mouth. Rolling thunder no more. Ah come on. That's my signature move. You can't take it away from me. We'll see about that tomorrow. Cage Hina. Kajiyama X Hinata. Just as you would expect them to be, the couple was on the court, practicing. Even though they weren't on the same team anymore, they liked to practice together. Hinata was well aware of the challenge, and he did plan on making a move, but practicing was important too. Well, they could just take a break. Nice kill, Kajiyama. I wish I was able to set as good as you can Spike. Only the talented can do that. Mean. Hinata jokingly threw a ball Kajiyama's way. The taller one intercepted it easily. One more. I bet you can't do it again. Oh you're on. Hinata threw a ball and Kajiyama hit it with a big sound echoing in the gym. Every time Kajiyama hit the ball, Hinata would just watch him, amazed. How did he get so lucky? Slap me like those volleyball. Hinata whispered. Kajiyama looked at him with confusion but didn't say a word. Hinata was forced out of his imagination suddenly. Ow. What was that for? Ha. Huh. You were the one who asked me to slap you with those volleyballs. You weirdo. I what? No. I said slap me like those volleyballs. I. I'm sorry. But also. What the hell? I uh, forget it. There was a moment of silence. I didn't know you were jealous of a volleyball. Can we stop talking about that please? Not yet, I have to show you what it feels like to be a volleyball. Come on, butt up. Hinata laughed. I'm so scared. You should be. Saku Atsu. Sakusa X Atsumu. Atsumu had been running his mouth a lot lately, a bit too much to Sakusa's taste. That is why the darker haired male decided to give him rules to follow. He couldn't complain, couldn't talk trash about people. Couldn't whine about anything or else Sakusa would punish him. On the other hand, if Atsumu followed Sakusa's rules, he would be rewarded later. Atsumu wondered how he could turn Sakusa on without saying a word. Omi? Be careful of what you're gonna say next. What is it, Atsumu? Atsumu brushed his finger over his neck. That was their secret sign that Atsumu wanted affection. Since Kiyumi wasn't so good socially, they had both decided on hand signals. And this was the one for attention. My treasure, do you want attention? Atsumu slowly shook his head up and down without ever leaving Sakusa's eyes. What type of attention do you want? The soft one. Sakusa immediately took Sumu into his arms and hugged him, leaving small, gentle kisses on his neck. The setter put both of his hands in Sakusa's hair, occasionally pulling. Do you like it like that, my love? Atsumu didn't answer, he just continued focusing on being kissed by Sakusa. Can I go low? Atsumu looked into Omi's eyes. Why yes. Are you sure? A hug. Sakusa slowly pressed his hands on Atsumu's chest now nude. They both heard a sound at the door but they were too fascinated by each other to bother looking. I love you, Kiyomi. I love you too, baby. This was one of the rare times where Atsumu used Sakusa's full name. Sakusa wasn't a fan of his own name but when Atsumu said it, it felt different, as if he wanted to hear his name once again. Can I go even lower? Oh I, what the hell am I witnessing? Instinctively, Sakusa covered Atsumu's body with his own. Oh, how cute, Sakusa became so protective. Oikoi used a mocking tone and laughed. What are you doing here? Kawa. Who let you in? You know, I was just about to ask you to go shopping but I see you're a bit busy. Yeah, get out, Kawa. He's your friend, watch your attitude. You feisty little baby. Yeah, watch your attitude. Atsumu clenched his jaw and bit his tongue. You should also tell Sakusa how bad of a person you were in the challenge Grapchat. Oikoa. Challenge? So this was all just a challenge? Whoop. This is my cue to leave, have a good day lovebirds. Sakusa looked at Atsumu. Sorry Omi. Get on your knees. Omi I I said get on your knees. I'll show you a good time. I'm getting punished, am I? Oh you bet you are. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below who your favorite reaction was.